Today, I'm bathing and grooming an eight-month-old golden retriever puppy. This is Kobe, and the last time I actually saw him, he was four months old, I believe, so I haven't seen him for a while, Kobe. and he oh, has just grown so oh, much. Oh. Yeah, good boy, good boy, good boy! And that's honestly the reality of me grooming dogs. Like, the whole time, I'm just screeching their names and making the weirdest sounds possible to get their attention. I always be doing too much when I'm shaking up these bottles, so hopefully I didn't scar you guys with that movement. But it was just me and Kobe today, so it was pretty chill. No, baby. Oh, baby. When you're rinsing off soap on a dog, you always want to start with their head first and then slowly move back to their back end. Kobe didn't appreciate that though, so it looks like I also took a bath, but honestly, that's every day for me. When you're bathing, I feel like you just kind of have to just embrace that you're going to get soaking wet. Because when these big dogs shake, it's not just like some little rain droplets. No, it's a whole tsunami coming your way. Other than him getting me soaking wet, he was pretty good for the bath, and I used this towel to dry him off the best I can before the blow dryer. For being an 8-month-old puppy, he was pretty good for it. He looks so sad. Why are you looking? I used a stand dryer by Schoenbau to completely dry him, and it also really helps get out all that loose hair. And then I used this other tool called an equi groomer, I believe that's how you say it, um, and it just also gets out his dead hair. When you have a double coated dog that isn't on a grooming schedule, it's pretty much impossible to get like every single hair out of them. So I think the best thing we can do as groomers in these situations is making sure we're using really great products and techniques. Um, conditioner is honestly the key step to this. And then after the conditioning and bath, using the blow dryer to blow out the most we possibly can. And then after that, using our tools to again, get out the most we can. Kobe's parents really didn't want a lot off of him, so it was just a quick little tidy up, and I would say the whole process took me like two hours, but the haircut took me about 45 minutes. I gave Kobe that pumpkin bandana and spray him down with my favorite cologne that smells like baby powder, but the moms just go crazy for it. Bye, Kobe! Only 0.8 of you guys have notifications on, so if you could turn that on, that would seriously mean so much. Thank you, bye-bye-bye!